Hello YouTube to Ocarina Insider, and on this episode I'm going to be showing you the differences between this Ocarina and this Ocarina. Now, this Ocarina has been floating on the internet, and it is very cheap for a ceramic Ocarina that looks as good, but it does not sound good at all. Uh, it is tuned to B, I believe, compared to what it should be tuned to, which is C, like this one. Um, now, first off, I'm going to be talking about the pros, the cons, and um, I'm going to be playtesting both of them. Um, so I'm going to start out with the playtest right now, um, starting with this one. Now, you obviously probably heard the huge difference between the two quality-wise. Now, um, visual. This one I would have to give the point to because this one, it, it's, it's nice, and it's nice and smooth and everything, but this one, it's ceramic and it looks more professional. Now, the, the con to <laughs> this one, visual-wise, is if you look closely, I don't know if you can see it, but there's smudges everywhere, and if you play this at all, like once, I think, it already had tons of smudges on it, because to play this you have to wrap your hands like around the ocarina, so already just all over there's smudges, which are fairly hard to clean out because of all the holes. You can't get like much water into those um, compared to this one, which gets basically no smudges ever. Um, now, if you were to put this on display, I would, like, only put on display, not playing it. I would recommend this one, because it looks really nice. And, um, I actually ordered it in black, but you can order it in blue. I mean, the blue one looks just like the Ocarina of Time from Legend of Zelda. Um, but if you are looking to play it, or to play it and have it being visually aesthetic, then I would recommend some other ones from Soundbird, Soundbird Ocarina, which is where I got this one, because they have some really nice ones on there that also sound really good. Um, now, the feel of both the Ocarinas, this one definitely earns the point, because um, this, this one, all the fingers are all spread out, and they, I have tons of room to breathe, and compared to this one, which I have bigger hands, so some of you might not have this problem, but all of my fingers are so like cramped and clumped up together. Um, makes it hard to play. Now, if I were to play a song on this one right now, I'd probably mess up even if I know the song really well, because I've been playing this one for the past month or two. No, no, not like two months, maybe like a month, a little over. And I've gotten used to how this one feels. Um, now, because if you just compare where all the finger placements are compared to on this one, I'm not sure if you can see, but there's that one, that one, that one, that one, just on the top row. And this one is super high up compared to the rest of them. But yeah, they're just. The difference is a lot more major than on this one. Now, um, all in all, this one is a lot better. I would highly recommend this one. Um, so anyway, that concludes this episode of um, Ocarina Insider. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more. I really, I really appreciate it. And um, I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye.